All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast. The filthiest of the filthy! Brought to you by Four Saints Brewing in Asheboro, North Carolina. Four Saints Brewing, your best local beers here in North Carolina. Make sure you hit them up on their website, foursaintsbrewing.com. Of course, as always, a big shout out to betonline.ag and, of course, the Believe Podcast Network and the best sport utility gear on the planet, Municipal. This is your boy, Brian, a.k.a. El Nino, and today I'm joined with... Brian Saber, Captain Cleveland Browns, <laughs> Cavs. Guardians, see you till I die. And I'm Rihanna Sullivan. Um, you can call me SD Re or Riri. Either works. <laughs> Riri is back with us, and we are so glad to have you back. Uh, we had you on a, a couple weeks ago, and and now here you are back with us. To you know, it's Christmas season, so yeah. we're going to be talking about some Christmas stuff. We got Christmas movies or not. We got a you know a whole list of movies that have been considered Christmas movies may not be considered Christmas movies and vice versa. So we're here to hopefully end the debate on a lot of these films here. So we'll go ahead and start off with our man, Captain Cleveland, as far as what are some of your Christmas movies that you think should be a Christmas movie? And then we'll start with the should be's and then the should not be's. And then we'll go down the top 10 list. Do we want to talk criteria first? Because I know when we were talking off air before we came on, we talked about some things that probably we should set as criteria or benchmarks that just automatically eliminate some of these movies. So, I mean, I guess I'll start and say, first and foremost, like it has to happen around Christmas time and there needs to be like, a Christmas vibe, right? There needs to be some of the critical elements of Christmas. Now we can name all those things, right? I mean, but there needs to be like trees or Santa Claus or, you know, Rihanna, you said music. music. What else? What are the other criteria? Well, what if like the movie starts at Christmas time and then goes through like a very long period of time where it's not Christmas and then it Christmas comes in again. Yes. Mm, yes. I would say I like okay. it has to be Christmas time at the end. Like at a for, okay. like during the during the most critical moment. Okay. You know? I like that. So we're talking, yeah. we're talking Santa, we're talking Christmas music, Christmas time. Snow. We'll, we'll go from Snow's there. critical. Well, not, well, not imperative, well, right. but it's critical. Bruh. Not imperative. I mean, Rihanna's out on the West Coast. I know. So it's I'm like, like there's no snow here. <laughs> well, yeah. the biggest debate of them all takes place in California. So, <laughs> oh goodness, yeah. So, oh, do you, you want to you want to start with the biggest debate of them all? Or? Yeah, I mean, it's it's Die Hard. Uh, it's yeah. the that's where this whole thing starts. It's mm -hmm. the debate that's as old as time. You know, or at least back to what 1985 or 86. I put it right up there with the is a hot dog a sandwich debate. <laughs> is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Now, I actually, for whatever reason, uh, today or maybe no, not today, yesterday popped up on my feed or a news article where recently. Bruce Willis has come out and said that he does not believe that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I don't care. Fuck Bruce Willis. We love Bruce Willis. Come on the show anytime. <laughs> Come on, John McClane. But I'm going to say 100% without a doubt that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Not only is it a Christmas movie, it's a top. It's like a goat Christmas movie. It's like top three definitely top five but it's arguably in the top three christmas movies of all time mm. Mm. rihanna what, what is um i'm list? i'm actually going to have to agree with you on that we we watch it every christmas like me and my friends and it's totally like part of our christmas routine um have you 
And then I just watched um, recently the how movies are made, and they oh, have the one for Die Hard. Us. Yeah, the made, yeah, yeah, and it was so good. And there's a Die Hard one, and I watched it, and I'm like, yeah, this is a Christmas movie, absolutely. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna say along the same lines that Lethal Weapon is a Christmas movie <laughs> because it's happening at Christmas, and that's actually happening in California as well, I believe. They drive a fucking car through his house and there's like the Christmas tree and all the Christmas presents and all that. There's definitely Christmas movies or music. They shop for a or yes, they're they're on a Christmas tree lot when Riggs sees Murtaugh's daughter filming the, the, the movie or the commercial or whatever. And he runs over and tackles the guy and she gets fired from the, from the movie or whatever. So I'm going to say along the same lines, but certainly not top five Christmas movie of all time. Lethal weapon is, is a controversial Christmas movie. And I'm going to say it's absolutely a Christmas movie. Rihanna. I know. So this is going to be no fun. Cause I agree with you on that one as well. <laughs> it's totally a Christmas movie. Um, so we need a debate here. We got to find one that we don't agree on. I got one. <laughs> so, okay. so if if I have to choose one out of the two, obviously Die Hard is a Christmas movie, no matter what John McClane says, aka Bruce Willis. And I, I'm glad that you mentioned something about the the movies that made us. Which a if you have not checked out the movies that made us on Netflix, go watch it. I'm always a big behind the scenes freak. I I love seeing like the process and how things almost did and didn't get done. And originally this wasn't a Christmas movie at all. It was actually a book called nothing lasts forever. Yeah. And uh, you know, if you watched the episode of, of die hard Sinatra did the first one and he was signed on to do this one, but he got older. So they ended up reworking it, brought in new writers, this, that, and the other lethal weapon is a Christmas movie. Now, is it up there in the top five with Saba? I do agree with that. No, it is not. Is it top 10? I don't think so. Um, not, not compared to Die Hard. Had a buddy to the Christmas party by mistake. Who knew? But that's just my opinion as far as where Lethal Weapon stands. That was Lethal Weapon Christmas movie, yes. But yes. is it in the top 10? Rihanna, in the top is it is it in your top 10? Well, is it in the top 10 of all Christmas movies of all time? Well, or just like well, controversial? Your top 10. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Or controversial Christmas movies of all time. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll stick with the topic. Yep. Yeah, because it would be my top 10 for that. As, absolutely. But if it's top 10 of all Christmas movies ever, no. Okay. All right. So in your top 10 of Christmas movies or not, where would you place it? Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe top 20. Okay. Top 25. Okay. All right. Yeah. I like a lot of diverse Christmas movies. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but here we are. <laughs> well, it's got to be different too, because you're, you, you know, you're, you've been out in California for a while now and, you know, Sabo was, was mentioning snow earlier. We were going over mm -hmm. prerequisites and this, that, and the other. And we all know, unless you're in Northern, Northern California, there's normally yeah. not snow in LA or San mm -hmm. Diego or anything like that. So that does take away from it a little bit, but it is during Christmas season. And just because you don't have snow doesn't mean it's not Christmas. So exactly. I get that. Absolutely. All right. So say, but what, what were you getting ready to say? <laughs> Nothing. I just, I think I have one that we would potentially debate about. I've stuck to <laughs> ones that I think are, are sort of, you know, fastballs down the middle. Here's one that, I think many people consider a Christmas movie and I do not. And that is the nightmare before Christmas. It's a Halloween movie. You know what? I can actually, <laughs> <laughs> that one I'm down the middle on. I don't want to say I, I completely disagree with you. I don't want to say that I don't agree with you. It is a Halloween movie based on mm -hmm. Jack Skellington from Halloween Town. And then he goes to the forest, which I did think that was a very cool concept, having all the different trees that lead to all these different towns, Easter Town, uh, you know, what was it? Saint, I don't know if it was St. Patrick's Day Town, whatever it is. But either way, you know, everybody was happy-go-lucky, obviously, in, in Christmas Town. So is it a Christmas movie? 
I mean, if you put a gun to my head, I would honestly say no. That's that's just my opinion. So, Rihanna, where are you at with this? Um, no, I would say that it it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I just I don't know. I feel like you ha- it has Christmas in the title. There's a Christmas town, mm-hmm. and I just I don't know. Yeah, it's also it's the nightmare before Christmas because it is partially about Halloween. But if we're talking about how movies like include Christmas and that is what deems it a Christmas movie, right? Yeah. There's yeah. Christmas Town. There's That's- a Santa. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go a step further. Okay. Not only is it not a Christmas movie, I think it's terrible. I think it's a, I think it, oh. I think it's I think it's trash. So I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it from both angles. Not only is it a Halloween movie and not a Christmas movie, I just think it's a bad movie. I hate you. See, I don't think it's a bad movie, but it's definitely not in my rotation. I don't watch it if if it's on if it. If someone were watching it and I showed up at their house, I would be fine with it being on, but I would never actively you, turn it on myself. You, you wouldn't know? grab grab the remote and <laughs> change the channel. I know, throw it against the TV. <laughs> no, but I would definitely never decide on my own to turn it on. Well, you know, it's funny you mentioned that too, because this movie is not one of those that was a blockbuster in the theaters. Mm-hmm. And, and Disney actually kind of, after seeing the final take and again, another episode of the movies that made us on Netflix, you know, Tim Burton wrote it. He didn't direct it, which is a, a, a thing that people think, Oh, well he directed it. No, he didn't. He wrote it and passed it off to one of his buddies. His wife at the time had something to do with it. The lead singer of Oingo Boingo, who's done the soundtrack from everything from Beetlejuice, like literally like every Stephen King movie you've ever, or not Stephen mm-hmm. King, I'm sorry. Uh, Tim Burton movie you ever heard of did the original voice work and did he did the original singing but when it came to the voice work they brought in someone else to actually do the voice work because they actually ended up coming up to Tim Burton to saying listen your your boy can sing his ass off but when it comes to that you know the the voice of Jack Skellington we need to bring in someone else and I'll look that up in a little bit so it, it you know, I, I can definitely see both both angles from it, but, you know, it was one of those things to where it, it's kind of like Boondock Saints is what I was trying to get to. It was oh. uh, like a culture, like a pop culture phenomenon to where it wasn't a blockbuster hit like Scarface, like things like that to where the more it came out, the longer, like the more the years went by, the more people really started to appreciate it. Yeah. And then it became, you know, because originally it was Night Before Christmas. Then it became... Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Then it became Disney's The Nightmare Before Christmas because it was gaining on that popularity of that nostalgia. So that was, that's my two cents on it. Yeah. I love Boondock Saints. That's like one of my most favorite movies of <laughs> oh, all time. God, you said it. that and I was like, yes. They're making yeah. another one. Yeah. Are, are they really? Yeah. With the same, yep. with the yep. same actors? Oh. Yep. Everything. Sign me up. I got, I got one more that I think potentially could be controversial so i'm gonna say that a lot of people think or consider or i guess group the harry potter movies in with christmas movies and i'm going to tell you a couple reasons why i think they do it a lot of those movies were released around christmas time and during the holidays really thanksgiving and through christmas they do marathons on free form and hbo's got them on hbo max right now and they do it on hbo but i'm gonna go out and say that the harry potter movies are not christmas movies they are not christmas movies i totally i'm 100 percent with you on that one and i it took it it absolutely is because they release them around christmas and everybody like marathons them when they're not you know off work for five, four or five days because everybody loves harry potter movies and i fall somewhere not in that camp but not not liking them you don't like harry potter movies <laughs> i think that's a whole other episode we're not even gonna go down that road i hate you it's not that i don't like them i just they're fine we're still friends <laughs> we're still friends okay 
I think I know what my house is though, because all my friends love it. So I'm always like, okay, I guess I'll wear this scarf. Wait, well. wait, wait. I gotta I gotta guess. I'm gonna take okay. a guess and say, but you take a guess. And don't I'm not that I'm not that deep in though. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go with 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 what? Gryffindor. That is correct. Yes. <laughs> You don't even we know what house I am. Which house are you? Oh, you're oh, I'm Slytherin, Slytherin, Slytherin. Slytherin. All day. <laughs> all that, day. That was going to be my initial guess, too. And then I backed off. I was like, no. All day. <laughs> <laughs> you are talking to Professor Snape himself right here on the line. Captain Cleveland. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I, he, was, so, he was a hero at the end. Spoiler alert. Uh, also, isn't he uh, the actor that played yes. the guy in Die Hard? Yes. <laughs> Look yep. at he, we just he came plays. Full he plays Hans Gruber. Yep. Yeah. And fun <laughs> fact: thanks to the movies that made us, that was mm-hmm. his first ever acting role. He was a theater actor before that for many years. Um, Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. Yep. And that was his first ever acting role. Yeah. So. Uh, I, I feel. Any like more controversial bad. ones that we want to give our takes on? Mm, I'm sure there's plenty of them. I was while, just while thinking of one a second ago. Already, there's there's one that's on my mind, and it was on you know the, this list that we have. It's also mm-hmm. called Christmas movies or not. Training places. I have that on my notes. Yeah, classic, 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 classic. I mean, that's all I can say. Just a, a, a supreme comedy. Eddie Murphy, um, Dan Aykroyd, Dan Aykroyd, and then uh, Homegirl from Halloween. Oh my goodness! Why am I drawing? Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. So yes, did it play? Did it take place during Christmas season? Sure. Is it on some Christmas movies list? Possibly, but I would not call that a Christmas movie. I call that the ultimate revenge story, but I would not call that a Christmas movie, even though. There's snow. There's Santa. And Dan Aykroyd actually plays a broke, homeless Santa <laughs> where he breaks into the party and he's stuffing food down his Santa suit or whatnot. But that's the only really Christmassy thing about the movie. So that would be mine, Trading Places, which actually is number four in Newsweek's Christmas movie or not list. I'm waiting for your take, Mia. I know. I'm gonna have to go with it's a Christmas movie. It's one hundred. It's one hundred percent a Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah. You are wrong, Brian. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with the look on your face? <laughs> oh no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so the Christmas movie is not a Christmas movie. Wait. The Wait, Christmas you're, movie? Oh, you're saying that Trading Places is a Christmas movie? Yeah, it's 100 percent a Christmas movie. No, no, no. Oh, no. oh, because I'm agreeing because of what I said about the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a Christmas movie because there's Christmas Town and Santa, and so now Trading Spaces is still a Christmas movie. It's different. How? Because <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas is a Halloween movie. <laughs> That's why it's different because it is. It's a Halloween movie. I just, I, I'm just I'm leaving it at that. Like, and you also don't like the movie either. So you're somewhat partial to this. Yeah, but I like the Harry Potter movies, and I said they weren't Christmas movies. I just I don't like Nightmare Before Christmas. So that's just you know it's it's just out. Yes, right. yes. Okay. And I would actually, if I went in somebody's house and it was on, I would actually grab the remote and turn it turn off. It off. Damn it! Son. You'd be like, we are not watching this. All right. Well, what about Kiss Kiss Bang Bang? Or Bang Bang? What is? Did I say it wrong? No, no. You oh said, no, you said, okay. it right. you said it right. Okay, you just looked at me like I was like, no. No, it's it's one of those, that that's a that's a deep cut. Mm-hmm. That's a deep cut right there. As far yeah. as you know, it's not on a lot of people's lists, and it's a it's a great movie to me. It it's kind of when Robert Downey Jr. started rebounding from. Yep. I mean, not even kind of. It really. I think it yeah. was like with well, the first movie he did after, 
you yeah. know, Everything. his his stint with whatever. Everything. And plus a f- phenomenal performance by Val Kilmer on top of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and it does take place around Christmas season. And yeah. it is in L.A. There's a, see, that's the thing. I think I mean, it's the L.A. <laughs> Christmas connection that we yeah. may have an issue with, Saba. <laughs> I don't have an issue. I think that all three of the L.A. Christmas movies are Christmas movies. So I'm good. <laughs> okay. The, so uh, into that. So Robert Downey Jr. ended up playing Iron Man, which mm-hmm. it's it's been and said that because he did the kiss kiss bang bang that that's like how he ended up with that role iron man 3 is it a christmas movie or not yeah i'm gonna say no on that one i've actually seen that on a on a few lists now iron man 3 is probably one of the marvel movies that i've seen the least it's definitely not the one i've seen the least but it's it's right there yeah I I think no on that one. I mean, there's there's no Santa Claus in that movie, right? Yeah. There's is there Christmas music? Oh. From what I can remember, I just watched it the other week too. Is That's that, the one yeah. with Harley, right? The kid. Yeah, it's when the suit mm-hmm. takes him to where he's trying to investigate the yeah. bombing. So the only thing really Christmas about that movie is Snow. the fact that it's snowing. Yeah, where he ends up at. Maybe it's but just, don't get it me really wrong. Works. When the Iron Man suits, when he does the initiative, they are so you know they all start blowing up. I mean, it looks like fireworks, but that could also be confused with the Fourth of July. Fourth of July, that's true. That's and that was true. filmed in Wilmington, North Carolina, by the way. Oh, I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's just that there's snow in a movie. I instantly think Christmas. <laughs> we want we want it to be Christmas all yeah. all the time. So right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. All right, so so now what am I? Batman Returns. What are we what are we thinking here? Christmas movie or not? Why are you smiling like that? I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. Yes, it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> I like it. So it like takes it. place at Christmas time. Mm-hmm. There is some Christmas theme stuff. It's snowing. Walken's great in that movie. He's only in it for a minute, but he's really, really good in it. I, I saw this on a lot of lists, and every time I kind of just glazed right over it, it kind of shook my head. Now, I will admit, it's probably been 15 years since I've seen that movie. At least 10. At least 10 since I've seen that movie. So maybe it's just uh, I have... A, a lack of a recency bias, maybe. I it, I just haven't seen it in a while, but I'm going to go on the no side. Mm. Well, right. there is a, there's a Santa. There is a Christmas tree. There's actually a Christmas tree lighting with some action scenes take place around. And it's snowing, and it's Gotham City, and it is during Christmas season. I can't be so. swayed. <laughs> can't be swayed. Well, there's three of us here, and uh, I say yes. It's a Christmas movie. Go. So do a yes. Do a yes. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. I'm wrong. I'm two wrong yeses. a lot. And then one, then one, one no for Saba. It happens. It happens every day. I'm lucky if it only happens once. <laughs> All right. So I'm glad we brought up. Honestly, I wasn't expecting kiss, kiss, uh, kiss, kiss, bang, bang, long kiss, good night. Rihanna, you are on it. On yes. it today. So let's go gremlins. You know, let's 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 talk about some gremlins. I've here. never seen gremlins. I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Oh, I, I forgot. Saba still wets the bed. So I I, I don't like scary movie. movies. And when I was a kid, that was scary to me. So okay, I went and saw gremlins in the movie theaters when I was like four or five. So I think it came out like right 90, 84, 85. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I went and saw it in the movie theater. Yeah. Um, I've watched it many of times over the years, um, but I haven't watched it in so long. All I remember is how much I loved the gremlins. They're not scary. They're very cute. Why? Wh- what do they do to turn in? They drink water? If they're oh, up after- three things. Yeah. Three okay. Things. You can't keep them up. You can't keep them up past midnight. Midnight. You can't put bright light on them and you cannot put water on them. And then what's the little cute grandma's name? Gizmo. Yeah, Gizmo. Gizmo. 
Mm. And like there's a I've seen in pictures because again we've all looked at the same list. There's like pictures of like the bad gremlins or whatever oh, yeah. with like wearing like Santa hats and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I would say I haven't seen it, but I'm gonna say based on the pictures <laughs> I've seen that it's a Christmas movie. There are Christmas elements in it. Gosh, I'm gonna have to watch that movie again. All right, I yeah. And it, it is a classic. It takes place yeah. during Christmas season. So, and then the gremlin, gremlins are there during Christmas season, as you can see from when they're noeling through the neighborhood yeah. while they're causing anarchy. <laughs> say. I don't watch movies that make me cry or movies that make me scared. So, oh, I like to, I like, I like to like, enjoy my myself. You like to you laugh? Know, yeah, I, you know, I, I got enough shit going on. I don't need to watch TV to have. I got enough anxiety in my life. I don't need movies to add to it. You don't calm down watching murder shows? No. <laughs> no. I I don't. At this point in my no. We'll just we'll just leave it at no. No. Okay. Good to know. There was this funny meme. I think I sent it to you, Saba, where it was like uh a picture of a, a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, in in the bed. And the girl's like, oh, I'm just relaxing, like listening to my soothing ocean sounds. And literally, it's just she's listening to a podcast like, so she murdered her husband like this and yeah. just sleeping peacefully. Is this what you do? That's my fucking house, dude. I walk in there and Courtney's either watching a TV show that like somebody's like dying of like some terminal illness or it's some like FBI on the hunt for like this man hunt slaughtering man you know whatever and i'm just like dude why can't you watch like a kevin hart movie <laughs> or like you know like let's watch let's she's like all you want to watch is is mcu and i'm like yes <laughs> because it's happy <laughs> And then not, you know, I mean, obviously Endgame had some elements of sadness to it, but yeah. for the most part, right? So yeah, that is my house. That meme is my home. Yeah, that's pretty much I either if I like I'm working from home and I just want like noise in the background, it's either I'm streaming uh dateline episodes or this show called Snapped, which is about like killer couples, or I'm watching reruns of friends just for because I know all the episodes, so I can just okay. don't even need to look. See, they're just figuring out how to kill us and get away with it. That's all it is. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying if you need me to hide a body, but. <laughs> so, you know, before we wrap this up, as far as, uh, you know, traditional, either even even untraditional, are there any just kind of movies that you watch with, with your family or even TV shows that's just something that's like a constant? Like for me, it's always going to be National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Like my my dad is, we call him the Puerto Rican Clark Griswold. Uh, we'll call him that till even after the unfortunate day that he passes. But it's just movies like that that just always gets a family together. We'll watch it a hundred times if we have to. Elf, another one, mm -hmm. and I remember seeing Elf because my daughter was very little, so it's important to me because it just reminds me uh, of when she uh -oh. was. A baby. Yeah. Uh oh! Uh, enough! Enough! <laughs> enough! You better cut it off. I love you. I love you. I love you. You're gonna be crying. Because I'm wearing the glasses. It's, I haven't been able to put my contacts Jeez. in in the week. Cause I you got me. Off. You got me misting up <laughs> over here. So you know, just kind of. Uh, I don't want to say on a lighter note, but what are you know some uh, movies or holiday shows that both of you enjoy watching with family and loved ones? Um. So. Pretty much every year, my mom and my Nana, when I was little, we would watch White Christmas. So that's like deep, like musical, it's great. Yeah. So I watch it every year um, with my mom if I can. If not, I'll watch it by myself because I've just always watched it at Christmas time. Um, and then I'm totally gonna pull like the basic bitch card right now because I watch The Holiday, Love Actually and Serendipity well, I watched. The I love Serendipity. Serendipity. I is love Serendipity. So good, so good. I watched. I mean, I like, love Kate Beckinsale, but Cusack's too. great in that movie. Oh my and gosh, Jeremy I, Piven. Yeah, yeah he's Piven's so good. Him. His mm -hmm. the his best man eulogy that he wrote. I love it. But I watched that like, I watch it 
12 months out of the year. Like, I don't even care. I'll watch it anytime. If I'm like feeling sad, I like literally just turn it on and it's instant like happiness. Um, and then holiday and love actually is like me and my friends will watch it. Is love actually the one with the car with the cue cards? Yeah, yes. The one with uh, Rick Grimes. Yeah. So Andrew, uh, Lincoln. Andrew Lincoln. So I actually, there's a movie on Netflix right now that just came out a Christmas movie. What's it called? Oh, shit, we just watched it. <laughs> oh, is get it the little? Get him, Marie. Wait. Uh, where they do the, the the cue cards at the end of was, it? Was wasn't that a, an episode of Ted Lasso? No, no, no. I've not seen Ted Lasso, and that's a whole nother thing. What was itself. the one? Oh, I watched this, and I don't know why I have it in my head that it's from Ted Lasso. I thought I'm gonna it was. Tell, I'm going to tell you what it is right now, okay. but I have to. I have to go down a road. I have to go down a rabbit hole. So the actor, the male lead, was in Silicon Valley. Okay. The show Silicon Valley. So I got to go there first. <laughs> oh, and then that, um, Jimmy Jimmy Yang. Um, oh. it's called Love Hard. Yeah, I, I watched yes. that one with um, Nina or yes from from um, the Vampire, Vampire Show. Di yeah, Vampire Diaries. That was a good one. It was really good. I was actually surprised when yes. I turned it on. I was like, I'm probably not going to like this one, but I really loved it. But I do yeah. remember in Ted Lasso Christmas episode, Phoebe's uh, classmate said she had bad breath, and so after she got it fixed, she went and did the card thing. Yeah. So that's where that's where my head went. Not I the... need to watch. I need to watch Ted Lasso. Okay. <gasps> So my go-to's National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Love it. Watch it. So many one-liners, classic. I mean, che all Chevy Chase movies are, are kind of like that with the one-liners, but Christmas yeah. Vacation is great. Love that. Home Alone. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? Um... I mean, I don't know who our age cannot watch Home Alone or, or Home Alone 2 for that fact and not just kind of go back to the place. You know, you think of the first one, obviously, with the micro machines and the BB gun and all the shit, you know, that he puts in the house. And then the second one with the ding, you know, with the, the talk boy or whatever. I wanted mm -hmm. that talk boy so <laughs> bad. Didn't get it. Love it. And then. I'm from Cleveland. You know, Christmas Story was filmed in Cleveland. The Christmas Story house is, is in Cleveland. I've been to it. A lot of the scenes that you see, especially like at the beginning, when he's looking in the window of, of the shop, that's actually a, uh, that's actually, uh, that was a, uh, a uh, uh, like a Macy's mm -hmm. or a Higby's, okay. something like that in downtown Cleveland. That, that storefront is still there today. You can go buy it. So when the Christmas story comes on, Courtney's always like, oh, my God, are you going to sit here and watch? Like, I'll watch it three times in the 24 hours that it's on. I just <laughs> yeah. maybe not like entire way through, but I'll sit yeah. there and watch it for like 45 minutes. And then, you know, it's like, OK, two, three hours later, I'll watch it for a 45 movie or 45 minutes. I love that show. Or I love that movie. And it's. um you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's ingrained in my, in my, um, my civic, my civic pride for where I'm from. So, yeah, that was when I first heard uh, fragile. It must be that French. Must be <laughs> <That's correct. laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I like, I love those movies that are always just on like the random channels. So you can mm -hmm. like pop in and just like watch half an hour. But if you have, if you have time and you don't have to watch the whole thing because you've already seen it, but it still like gives good feelings of holiday spirit. Absolutely. So. And it takes you back. Cause you've been, yeah. cause you've been watching them your whole life. Yeah. And that's the main thing. And, uh, you know, uh, Re, you and I had this conversation during the Tad Lasso episode and, and Saba, you and I had this conversation during the, uh, 2021, uh, movie anniversaries episode. At the end of the day, it's all about nostalgia and like where it mm -hmm. brings you back to and where it takes you back to. And we all know Christmas movies, Christmas shows, you know, as, as I mentioned earlier, we'll do a uh, best animated, you know, favorite animated movie episode, this, that, and the other for, for Christmas. But at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's that feeling that you get when you first watched it when you were little. 
but then picking up those subtle hints as you get older as well. Like with National yeah. Lampoons, I didn't understand a lot of the stuff as as a lot of us, you know, didn't as kids watching oh. Chevy Chase and Bill Murray. But as you get older, you're like, oh, wow. And I mean, there was this amazing sound clip. Uh, big shout out to the guys at Rock 92, two guys named Chris, where they use a sound clip uh, called it was right when, you know, Clark finally gets it on, even though oh. all he had to do was flick the switch on. And he hugs his dad. He was like, you taught me everything I knew about exterior li uh, Christmas lighting. You know, just little things like that that you don't get when you're little. But when you're older, you just kind of laugh your ass off about. Yeah. Uh, and that's what, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, Christmas is about good times. It's about memories. It's about family. It's about friends and, and being with those that you're close with. As always, like, subscribe, follow. Happy holidays. Be good to each other. It's been a rough couple years time to spread some love out there that's what we're trying to do here at zero dark nerdy on every single episode again big thank you to rihanna as well as saba we'll catch you next time peace